topic today around why do we need procurement analysis? Why is it so important uh, to be done? Uh, any organization, uh, essentially, they are always tra tracking their revenue and the cost. And the difference of revenue and the cost, as we know, is, is our profit, the gross profit, net profit, gross profit. Uh, the only way you can increase your gross profit is either keep increasing the revenue or keep managing your, managing your cost. And your cost, which could be a big portion is your cost of goods sold, is something which is very important to be managed, managed and tracked. So how you purchase the goods, which vendors do you work from, how can you reduce your cycles for procurement is something which has a very direct impact on the cost part of it. So if the procurement department uh, is not optimized or it doesn't have good access to the data uh, to make timely decisions or to tell you, hey, you need to order something so many days ahead so that there is no delay in the manufacturing, is a very important function of uh, a function of procurement. So a better procurement process has a direct result to really reduce your cost. And it's a very important function. The question comes down to that, how do you provide the efficiency? How do you make the procurement department better? And today we are talking about a solution which is going to make it better, but the question comes down to is that, what is the solution and how do you do it so that you don't incur a significant cost? The whole purpose of this initiative is that you make it more procurement process more effective, but then how do you make it more effective with the least amount of cost added to it with the most amount of benefits? And that's what we are going to focus on as to how and what you can do to make your procurement process better. So when we look at a procurement management system, it essentially ranges through several sub-processes. Okay, so the chart on the left hand side uh, shows you what those things are. There are, of course, technology parts are there, business parts are there, operations is there, but you are really focused on, uh, but you are really focused on uh, uh, strategic sourcing. Who are your vendors? Who are your suppliers? You should you should work you should work uh, work with uh, your contract management, right? How do you do your? Do you have a bid portal? Do you do reverse bids or not? How do you manage that process? How do you control all the uh, RSPs, proposals, leads, bids coming in? Uh, invoicing and payments. If you don't pay your suppliers on time, chances are they're not going to be happy. And if they're not happy, the goods that you sh receive from them are, they can be delayed. And if they are delayed, then your manufacturing will be delayed. If your manufacturing is delayed, then your shipment is delayed. And if shipment is delayed, the customer is unhappy. And they're not going to make you payments. So it's a whole cycle across the organization which is very integrated, tied to your, uh, your procurement process. So when you're looking at the entire sub procurement process, you're looking to see where do you want to make improvements, how do you optimize things. Some other very common question that we have seen, and again, we have been doing implementations of, of procurement uh, process intelligence system for over seven or eight years now in an on-prem environment. And the common questions are, okay, who are the suppliers uh, who do on-time delivery? Their cost may be a little high, but then they do they deliver on time. They do deliver with the best quality. Who are those suppliers? for which the return ratio is, is very, very minimal. Uh, the payments are very easily made. The purchase order to invoices match very easily. Uh, within your organization, when you're doing purchases, is, is everything happening through the contracts you have in place? If I'm, a, uh, if I'm just a user in a company and I want to order, a, uh, let's say, a pen or a pencil or a paper or something for my computer, am I going to Best Buy or a Staples buying it from there or am I going, to, going through my company's uh, contract process because a lot of money can be lost if if the purchases are not made by the negotiated rates that the procurement department has. So how do you prevent that contract leakage? Uh, how can you consolidate suppliers? Are there folks across the company, across the globe, ordering the same laptop, okay, or ordering the same part from various vendors so that there's a big price fluctuation? How can I manage that? Uh, am I paying supplier on time? I talked about how important that is, okay? Uh, what's the time lag you have between a request coming to you by the time it's, uh, the order is placed? Because there may be serious implications to that. And where is the most spend I'm having in an organization? So just a very limited set of very common questions that any procurement department does. And it's not that they, they need a BI tool to do this. We all, the businesses are running BI tools. They're all running on Excel or whichever tool they may have. But the whole question comes down to how can you optimize that? How can I get to the answers for these questions in a fastest and the most efficient manner? Because when I do that, not only I become more productive, so I can do a lot more uh, analysis and work, 
but I make my entire organization's process uh, very, very effective. That's the reason why we need something to really uh, focus on, on procurement. So here's an example of some common procurement metrics that you have come across. So if you want to track the supplier performance, okay, you're essentially looking at the purchase order to purchase receipt variance. So that's, that's a direct impact on how you're paying and how good the vendor is. Uh, payment analysis, who are your top 20 suppliers or bottom 20 suppliers. Uh, doing a lot of top-end analysis, uh, aging analysis, who are your bottom 10 uh, on-time dates by suppliers. Just focusing on the supplier performance. Uh, looking at the procurement performance, you want to look at uh, how many outstanding POs are there by organizations, how many non-agreement purchases are happening, what's the trend of your PO amount, uh, how well are suppliers being paid, what's your total supplier base. A lot of these things to show them in a very concise manner, in a very uh, nice charge graph, but at the same time having the ability to drill down. There's a misconception that whenever you talk about a BI tool, it's always going to give me only nice fancy charts and graphs and KPIs. The reality is that the majority of the users in an organization, they need transactional data. They need their role level data, they need the details, because that's what their job function is. So you don't want a company to adopt a tool where now you have two things to work off. One is a transactional reporting tool, other one is more of a summarized and KPI type reporting tool. And the good thing is what we're talking today around Oracle's BI Cloud Services, it's one single tool, it's one single platform which caters to all types of reporting that you have. It can do detailed transaction level reporting, you can go down to the invoice level, PO level, line level details, to looking at something all the way at a very high uh, enterprise consolidated manner. The beauty is everything is coming from one single place and it caters to all the type of users you have. And you overlay the security on top of it, you can provide a uh, very granular control on what, who sees what data for which department and at what level. So pretty powerful tool which caters to your organization. So finally, looking at the spend analysis, which is focused on across your organization, uh, how are you spending? Is there a contract leakage happening? Uh, who is your top supplier? What are your top categories where the spend is? So all of these things, something which you can do in a very effective and fast manner using a tool like BI, BI Cloud Services. So here's an example of a dashboard which has been developed in uh, BI Cloud Services using Apps Associates uh, Procurement Accelerator. And what you're looking at is a spend analyzer dashboard. And once I go into the live demonstration, we will see all of this again. But you can see that right off the bat, it shows me who is my top supplier. What's the top item that I'm purchasing? What's my top cost center? I have some uh, parameters available on the top left hand side. I can look at information by cost center, by a project or a period, a couple of charts which are showing me my spend across the organization, spend, spend by item, uh, my spend by the categories who are my top suppliers. Again, we do this analysis day in and day out, but how can we do it more effectively? And finally, another example of if you look at the, the chart on the bottom right corner, this is showing you your total spend by classification. How much spend is happening through POs, how much is having leakage. So the good thing is for this particular organization, almost 70 to 80% is happening through your PO process. So that is good. But how do you go after and attack that red box? Okay, and it may have a millions of dollars of impact. And just fixing that red box and making it this green may pay, the, pay for the investment that you would make in a solution like this. So you always have to look for the opportunities of how do you get the ROI from solution that you are implementing. And it's best if that tool can solve a problem and pay for itself. So having, having that background uh, of me constantly saying, how do you do it more effectively? Um, with a combination of Oracle's BI Cloud Services, Oracle's BI Platform in the cloud, and the accelerators that Apps Associates has built specifically for procurement is what gives you the biggest bang for your buck here. So it, it allows you to keep the cost low, make it very, uh, very operational cost, at the same time giving uh, very good uh, analysis capabilities to procurement department, which helps to reduce the cost and helps to basically uh, maximize your, your profits. Mm -hmm.